Many years ago, back in 1784, the clever Dr. Jenner found a new project to explore. Could a hydrogen balloon be launched into the air if he chose the right ingredients? There was so much to prepare on that second September day. This is Sparky Castle, the inner keep, where Jenner. Um, 240 years ago, launched the first hydrogen uh, balloon from this very keep in Gloucestershire. So today, um, we're hoping to raise uh, the balloon um, that I've got in the background here, um, using helium rather than the hydrogen, as a commemoration of that first flight. It's a great privilege and an honour to be here representing the city of Gloucester on this exciting and special anniversary. The Spirit of Aviation, such is the title of the statue which stands in the centre of Gloucester to commemorate Gloucester Aircraft Company. My mother worked there and my grandfather served with the RAF, so I suppose you could say that the Spirit of Aviation is very much in my genes. I have always felt a kinship and a fascination with it. Like most Gloucestrians, I have always been aware of our, of our rich aviation history, but I had no idea that the story actually began here exactly 240 years ago. Astonishing. As we all know, Barclay Castle is an extraordinary place which has had an immeasurable impact on our world today through the work of Sir Edward Jenner in the field of medicine, of course. But until now, I really knew nothing about his balloon experiments or of his part in the aviation story. That yearning to conquer the skies was obviously a strong one in Gloucestershire, in their hearts and beyond. I'm so grateful to our hosts here at Barclay, to Nick and the CARG team for kindly inviting us here today to witness this thrilling and historic event. So long may this great county of Gloucestershire continue to fly high in history. Thank you all very much. Well, thank you very much. Um, today is the culmination of an idea that we had some nine months ago um, to make the forgotten aviation history of Gloucestershire come alive. Um, so celebrating this achievement in 2024 of Dr. Jenner was a, po a poignant point that we thought it's this year we can celebrate it and we've just about got enough time to plan it. Well, I wish we'd had a bit more actually. <laughs> yeah. So given the Air Bloom pub and the highways development, which has been very much in the news just lately, um, and we've worked, we're working with um, the highways as well, to how we can come to a commemoration of Jenner and the... Uh, Air Bloom Club, and um, with um, Jane as well, Jane Parsons is here as well. So this in, in event is important in Gloucestershire's history um, because the first hydrogen balloon flight was from here. It was less than a year after the Mongolfia's hot air balloon flight, which is quite an achievement for, think, you know, for those times. Around, the popula around this time, the population had never thought of, or wished for flight, but never experienced it. They did not know what it was like to look down on the villages in countryside around them to see. They didn't know whether actually if you went too high you would stop breathing, or went into the clouds, what happened above that. So this was a huge um, time in our uh, country's history to where experiments were being held. In the 1770s, it was the start of the Industrial Revolution. Carding machines and powered looms were repla replacing the cottage weavers, and the steam engine had yet to be invented. And four, it was four years till the first paddle steamer in Dumfries and Galloway actually set sail. Jenner's two flights using a balloon, based on the work of Caleb Parry, who was in Bristol and a friend and scientific researcher with Jenner, um, achieved the first notable achievement of his balloon in Bristol and Jenner wanted to repeat this in Gloucestershire. He was awarded a medal by the Mongolfia brothers for his achievement in carrying out this balloon flight, which is quite a celebration. It had a happy ending 
in that Jenna married Catherine of King's Cove, perhaps as a result of the encouragement by Catherine and her father to attach a love note to the second flight of this balloon. So there's a happy end in it. And the balloon, as we probably all know, is reported to have landed near the birdlet with the air balloon pub. And then hence the name, the new inn changed to the balloon and then became the air balloon. So that's how this connection that we're trying to promote with the highway agency. Dr. Jenner's air balloon Oh, it fell to earth far too soon The promise of that dream Could not be denied He would launch it to the sky once more Would be the finest sight they ever saw Like a moon in the afternoon Dr. Jenner's air balloon It was a lucky place to land Where the balloon fell from the sky we, we talked about it for quite a time and um, finally got together. It's a shame it didn't lift off, but we pumped it full of helium and it, it, didn't, uh, it didn't lift. So our reduction of um, size obviously tilted it um, from what the bigger balloon would have done. because Nick from the Cotswold Aviation Restoration Group emailed me and talked about the subject and sent me a lot of information. I'd, I'd not really heard of Dr Jenner's launching a balloon back in the balloon mania period of the 1780s, so I delved into it. And when he suggested writing a song, I thought, well, I'll think about that. And then it was, and the more I read into it, the more I realised I wanted to do it. And it was quite a challenge to fit the facts in. And it's got some lovely touches about it landing in Kingscote and meeting his future wife and and then eventually the balloon second flight ending up at Birdlip. So, and with the air balloon pub just recently lost as well, so that's it all tied in really. I have, well we're saying, I'm sorry the balloon didn't quite go up as we wanted, but at least it inflated, which I think is a credit to John's uh, needlework. A special recognition to Barclay Castle, as I said, for allowing us to hold this event in such a wonderful setting. Um, I feel like Jenna in some ways, but <laughs> making my escape. Um, and thank you to the Mayor of Gloucester, uh, Lorraine Campbell, for enthusiasm from the very start, from that first phone call that we had. You've been so supportive and enthusiastic for this event. Well, I think it's the most important thing that a mayor can do uh, to um, uphold and celebrate everything that's unique about Gloucestershire. And we have so much history, so much that is so uh, uh, special and has been very impactful on our world today. And so I think it's, it's really vitally important that we um, have events like this morning uh, to perhaps inform people more about our great county uh, and to really celebrate all that's good about it. I think it's vitally important that we do that. Like a moon in the afternoon, Dr Jenner's air balloon. Like a moon in the afternoon, Dr Jenner's